Welcome, and for me is an Asus ZenPad 10, and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process on the device. So when you boot it up for the first time, you'll be presented with a welcome screen where you get to choose your language. I'm gonna stick with English, and from there, let's tap on the arrow, and then choose our input method, which by default, it's selected to correct on English, um, so I don't have to change the keyboard here. That next page we have Wi-Fi connection, uh, so this is completely optional. If you don't have any Wi-Fi near you that you can connect to, you can simply skip it. And the only thing you'll miss out is connecting to your Google account later on. Which still, you can do that later on after the setup is complete through settings. From here we can name our device. Now this step is completely optional. If you leave this empty, uh, it will name the device uh, basically by the name of the device, so it will be called something like an Asus ZenPad 10. Uh, that's assuming you leave it empty, which I'm planning to. From there we have Google services, so you can see you have the use Google location services, help improve location services, and help improve your Android experience. Now you can read each one of them, uh, you can tap on learn more to get a, a little bit more comprehensive overview of what it does and if you don't like it you can simply disable it and go to next. Then we have register your ACES product. Uh, again this step is optional. Uh, I assume it will give you some kind of... Uh, we, should, we suggest that you register your product within 30 days from the date you purchased. So mm, for me this completely has no meaning and this device has most certainly more than 30 days since it has been purchased so I'm just gonna skip this. Now, if you want to, you can always create an account there and log in if you choose to. Um, now, it gives me not, that there is no network uh, connection, so I can go back and connect to it. So I can log in, even though I said skip. Uh, so disregard that, and from here we can now uh, connect to Google or some other like our mail services if you want to. Now again, I'm going to skip this. I would have to go back and connect to network anyway. Then we have date and time, so we can choose date and time. Uh, now it's set to be set automatically, even though it's well right now completely incorrect, uh, unless it's setting it uh, setting it based on the uh, language that we have chosen, which in this case it's not very great. But if you want to set it up yourself, you can disable this, and from here, tap on a date, change it to whatever, set time, again change it to whatever you want, and. You can also change the time zone if you want to. So for me, it's going to be plus two. And there we go. Uh, Google Drive uh, Drive protection. Now I don't really use Google Drive. Uh, redeem this offer, so you are eligible to claim 100 gigs of free Google Drive storage. Uh, so you can do that if you want to or not. That's completely up to you. I'm going to go to next. Inspire Aces. So. In some ACES programs, uh, you can read exactly wh what you're agreeing to here. If you don't want it, you can tap on no thanks uh, once you read and you don't like what they are offering. From here, we can go to next and data transfer. Now, this would allow you to uh, restore your older device to this one, so copy all the data from the older device to this one. Now, I'm setting it up as new, so again, this doesn't really interest me, so I'm gonna say skip data transfer and basically finish up the setup. And there we go. So, if you found this video really helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.